Hey everybody and welcome back to Dr. Tinder Love, your favorite provider of dating app train wrecks. Did you miss us? Good. Did you just find us? Even better. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we can get right to it. Today's off-the-shelf name that we're gonna use is Renee, which means reborn. It is our way of honoring our brand new studio and our brand new show format. You like? Let us know in the comments below. As some of you might already know, your success on any of these online partner finding apps largely depends on none other than one thing, your marketing skills. That's what your bio is for. Your bio description is nothing but a marketing tool. Much like your penis, if you use it well, it can open up a lot of doors. However, if you use it badly, the only doors it opens up are the ones to sexual allegation charges. Me too. Me too. Me too. So having a good description and writing is really important. But if you're not really good at writing, at the very least, you gotta make sure that your pictures are real fire. So staying true to this show's nature, here's some guys who didn't get the memo. Renee. I live in a freaking swamp. Listen to me, you green bastard. That's clearly not you, okay? No man who has worked hard enough or took enough steroids to look like that will actually put a Shrek thing over their face. They'll be proud of that shit, okay? So, not a bad Photoshop all in all, but ugh. Next, Renee too. Talk about a shit personality. This does not work at all, dude. Come on. Uh, you have to figure out how to write a good bio. This is not a good strategy. Quick flush. Renee 3. Clearly a man who misunderstood the concept of sleeping your way up the corporate ladder. Write a good bio and take a good picture. God damn it. How is this such a challenge? Next. Renee number four. I'm just a lonely type monkey. Or just too soft. I'll leave this up to you. <laughs> Listen to me. If we're doing monkey analogies, go apeshit. Pick a primate. A gorilla. What is this weak? <laughs> You think any woman is going to look at this and say, Oh my god, he's my Tharzan, I want to have his babies. This is weak. No, see, th this is reason people want to bomb us, and I'm genuinely starting to get the reason. You know, like, I, I agree with it. I think it's not a bad oh, thing. Oh, you think that's why the Taliban are actually this radicalized, is because of this guy? <laughs> yep, I think so, and it's his fault. I'm holding him personally <laughs> responsible. responsible. Renee 5, your ad could be here. No, 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 no. It, it's your ad that should be there. H how did you misunderstand this? Are you looking for like female references? Like, uh, here on one to five stars, I will be rated by all these females. Here's a bunch of, oh, you fucking dumb dumb. And no, you're not being clever by referencing a 10 plus year old meme. You're just regurgitating something that kids used to laugh at 15 years ago. And those kids said the N word a lot. So not the best judges of character. Do we even have any Renees that are good at marketing at all? Or we're just doing a full episode with idiots? I think we have been nearly done with them. What's the last one? Let's see. Renee 6. Hello. I'd buy broccoli uh, huh, in Chopron. See, I'm new in town and I don't know of any other possibilities, so please only swipe right if you can help. I'm not interested in any other stuff either, just in green love. Peace. How the hell is the only guy good at marketing the pothead? This is unprecedented. Everyone else blows, but the one guy who has some moxie, some brains and some balls is not looking for women at all, is actually looking to blow his brains out. Incredible. Incredible. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Dr. Tinderlove's third season, episode one. It's already the third season. Don't forget to send us any bios you come across if you'd like to be mentioned in the episode. And that's it for us. Compliment our new studio and see you next time. Bye-bye.